Welcome to Guns Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in today. For those of you that follow my channel, you know that I've been uh, working on a solar uh, off-grid setup for camping, overlanding, just general prepping, uh, being able to have a solar power generator, if you will, or, or power bank um, for off-grid. And um, been wanting to do it for, for quite a while and just now kind of getting around to putting something together and uh, wanted to share kind of what I've been doing and if you follow my channel I did a video recently of the solar panel and the uh, stand that I made for it where I can move the um, uh, solar panel and be able to tilt it in the direction of towards the sun to get the maximum amount of exposure so I told you in that video that it's going to be kind of a little bit of a slow process, just kind of prioritizing and budgeting uh, around Christmas and things like that. But I did get in a new item that I wanted to share with you guys. So you're going to need to be able to house your battery and then your electronics and things for the power bank. And what I found was uh, some other people had already used this uh, little system here and I liked it. thought it was pretty, pretty you know, easy to do. Uh, a lot of people will actually build their own maybe out of something like this or some other type of case and this right here already had kind of everything built in this is by Minkota and Minkota is known in the fishing industry they do a lot of electronics they do trolling motors things like that so this is called their battery power center and it was never intended to be used with solar um, but it was more or less uh, intended to use for like trolling motors and um, being able to hook up some electronics, especially if you have like say uh, a little John boat or something, they wanted something a little more portable. Uh, usually the guys that have uh, bigger boats, like bass boats, they uh, already have a system built in. This is more of a portable type system that Minn Kota had come up with. And I thought it would work great for the solar setup. So what you have is a plastic box. It has two external uh, attachment points for your, uh, which would do it normally be a trolling motor, but in this case, it would be my solar panel. And I like that, that I don't have to get into taking the top off or having the battery top exposed. Um, it already has these nice caps that you can just uh, attach your solar panel once everything is set up, all your electronics correctly. Also on this box, it has not only one, but two 12 volt built in um, plug-ins already in place. And they are waterproof because of the nature of the box uh, being for marine use, you know, fishing. It also has two circuit breakers built in. Now I may circumvent the circuit breakers here. Um, it has a 60 amp and a 10 amp. I may go around these. I hadn't decided yet because my charge controller should be able to monitor and and, uh, and do what these do anyway. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. It also has a built-in battery tester uh, where you just push the button and I don't have any battery in it now so it won't show. But um, it'll show you full half and recharge and kind of in between that. But it's just a push button style. I wanted something that showed me the actual voltage on a regular basis so I can kind of keep up with it. So I bought one of these off of eBay for like eight bucks, nine bucks, and just installed it. And it's a digital voltage meter. And I'll show you the inside. It comes with this nice strap that's going to hold everything together. Fast tech style buckle. And if you look, this is uh, where I put in that voltage meter. Just two wires, it's got a positive and a negative, and I wired them and just zip tied them to the existing battery cables. So once it's all there together, I don't have to worry about keeping up with what wire goes where. It's already on the positive and negative. I use black and red wires to coincide with the black and red uh, positive and negative wires for the battery connection. And I just use little round uh, pieces here just like they did on the cable. And so now when I put this on the battery, it'll automatically light up. So that's the plan anyway. So the inside of the box, this right here holds a Type 24 battery, but somebody I think I saw that says a Type 37 uh, will fit in here also. Just an empty battery box. Your electronics are housed in here, and this right here, uh, there's two screws here and here where I can undo those and this uh, battery tray or this tray here uh, or cover falls out and it's got your exposure your electronics so if I need to circumvent or go around that um, uh, circuit breakers I can but um, it's got vents on the side to vent your battery 
already built in. So the other thing that I'm gonna have to figure out is where I'm gonna mount things. So I don't want loose stuff around. So this is my charge controller that came with my solar panel. And I'm gonna have to figure out, am I gonna mount it in the front? Am I gonna have to mount it on the side? Where am I gonna mount it? Because it has, your wires attach on the bottom here and they're gonna have to then feed back in. So I'm gonna have to drill another hole and feed it back in to the battery, um, you know, back into the battery to attach everything to the charge controller. So I've gotta attach the charge controller and then I've also got to attach the inverter that I'm gonna get. I wanna get a uh, 2000 watt uh, inverter so I'll be able to power a lot of things and then if I wanted to add a battery or something uh, later on I could um, so I wanted to have that capacity I didn't want to have something like a little 400 watt inverter I actually have a few of those around I don't have a 2000 watt uh, large inverter that's a little more powerful so that's that's going to be my as things progress you will see those things coming together and i will walk you through it because i know a lot of people are interested in this like me but just didn't understand it and i really don't understand it luckily i've got a good friend of mine uh that's been studying this and really interested in doing it so he's going to kind of help me with some of this uh which i'm thankful for and be able to you know make sure i don't uh, burn anything down <laughs> So, um, I, I know enough about electronics and, and, and wiring to be dangerous, but uh, if it ain't black and red and, and it says positive and negative, uh, beyond that I get a little confused. But uh, So, you can follow me along on this little uh, solar powered uh, battery pack journey and uh, see how I do it if you are interested. And like I said, I'll dummy it down so it's easy for everybody to understand and kind of walk you through it. So um, like I said, I'm, I'm not the best at it. So that'll, that'll help you guys uh, figure it out from my perspective where I'm not an expert in things like this. But anyway, guys, hope this has been helpful. Uh, again, 60 bucks for something like this. Uh, got came off of Amazon. I will post that in the section below the link to it. Um, good, it's sturdy. Minn Kota has a good reputation, so I would much rather buy something like this and start than have some generic box that I'm having to do things. Even if I add things like I did here uh, with that, this is specifically designed for a battery, so you know it should be uh, should work out great. Instead of trying to do a generic, you know, like a toolbox or some kind of gun case that you're going to convert to something like this, I would start out with something like this. But anyway, guys, hope that was helpful. If you guys got experience in anything like this, please post that in the section below. That'll be helpful to myself and others that um, maybe something we should look for uh, or do or, you know, whatever, not make a mistake on. Uh, just be sure to share that with us. That would be uh, grateful and appreciated. But if you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. It's over there in that section. Also, the share button is over there. Share content. Uh, it'll help us get the word out about Guns and Gear Network as well as the vendors and sponsors that provide us products. And... Uh, also, if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell out beside of it. It'll give you notification when we release new videos. As always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.